What's up guys, this is Hotdiet7RCT bringing you another video for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well up there. And yeah, I, I uh, wanted to do this video here, which I mentioned in the How To Arcade Loaders video, which is uh, showing off what I've been able to do with Techno Pirate, uh, basically updating with uh, you know some games that are not really uh, so new and some of them that are actually really new um, I've been able to update for both so now I got more games uh, added to the front end and that's exactly where we're gonna be heading right now I'm gonna go in there at least show you the ones that I've managed to set up that are running of course I, I set everything up outside first which is uh, the recommended way of doing things and once you're sure that they're gonna be running and controls are there then you go ahead and you add it to your front end and basically the games that I have for Techno Parrot they're all here under the Sega ring I mentioned this before that I have of course some other games that do not belong to the Sega ring um, arcade lineup but you know it's just I I rather have it in just one place like this one right here the Mario Kart is not that's Namco but first off let me show you guys Dream Raiders loading loading complete And of course, there's some uh, fading stuff that I need to fix, so you don't get to see that the loader coming up. But in terms of the game itself, it is working really good. Welcome, Raiders. This dream machine will enable you to experience an interactive sim. So let's choose one here. Let's go with. Uh, Let's go with the wild water one. So of course, is a uh, on rail shooter. Very similar to uh, Ocean Hunter, which is another one that I have. Can't remember where I left it. I still haven't added it to the to the front end yet. And this is basically quick pick up and play, meant for. Munching quarters, of course. They give you, if you manage to succeed, they give you a bonus mission. So you don't feel cheated out of your money, I guess. <laughs> Yeah! 
pretty gnarly, dude. that after you finish you get kicked out and that's it thank you for playing of course you can keep playing if you have it set up for free play so that's not an issue now one that I need to show off here is Segarali because oh my god is it good it's so good and waiting for ages because in my case since I have um I don't know if it was exclusive to AMD cards or if it was overall, but that texture memory error that did not allow you to boot up the game. Crazy. Do a quick race here. Subaru, choose automatic. Automatic. Choose a track to race. Tropical or Canyon? Let's go Tropical. <clears throat> so yeah, before we had that issue and it was basically an error that you would get when using Windows 10. Thankfully it was remedied. Uh, you had to download a certain application in order to change formats, uh, some video formats. And once that is done, you're golden. And change the views. Now, even if this one has been around for quite a while, it is it does not age. I mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. Easy 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 Out of my way, dude. Get over here, punk! Ah, always do that. Oh, I'll get you. Get over here. Easy right. Easy left. Easy right. Checkpoint. Long medium right. Ah! Damn it, and it's so close. Not so bad. As you can see, all the effects on. Enter your name. Nice and HD. Get my initials here. You got a high score. 
So that is Sega Rally 3. Now, another one that's pretty awesome here out of the new ones, of course, is Transformers. Loading. Loading complete. And this one is another game that I had for a while but wasn't able to run it. Not sure if it was for a certain time available only for Patreons. Wait, Sam. All I, I know is that it's working and it's looking I really good. Sam! Sam! Decepticons are approaching. Huh? Decepticons? You are their target. What? Pick up your gun. Who will drive the car? I will take over for you. Whoa! Are you kidding? What is that? One of mine, we are aware of your situation. Now enter the ramp ahead and meet squad three there. Roger that. There are so many enemies and they came out of nowhere. They madly want the device in your hand. We are about to reach the assembly point. Target the crew. Start operation cover up. Requesting Autobots backup. Oh shit, oh! That was... that was close. Come on! That's it guys, that's it for Transformers, but amazing, amazing title. I'm super happy I was able to get this one. And of course, one of the newer ones is uh, 
Tekken 7, which I don't have even a video a track for it yet. I'll probably edit one to place in here. That one in Transformers, I still have, don't have a video for that. I do have for virtual tennis. But anyways, let's go into Tekken. Loading. Loading complete. Good morning. Let's get this going. Paul Phoenix. Get ready for the next battle. 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 Now comparing it to the Tekken Seven that I have. On my PC, um, I feel that even though the graphics look amazing here, I think it must be a toned down compared to, of course, all the bells and whistles that you can run in the PC version. Because in the PC version, I have it maxed out running in 4K and it looks absolutely breathtaking. But as an arcade game, looks amazing and it runs 60 frames at least locked. Round one. Fight. Okay. I can't remember button placement, but okay. Round two. Fight. Uh oh. Ooh. Close. So yeah guys, pretty painless to be honest, and I was very surprised to see it working so well and running so well too. So. Coming back to me. Coming back to me. What am I little? 
So next up, loading, loading complete. So yeah, this one is still not quite there in terms of the mouse control. Might be a terrorist attack. Because in order to play it in HD, you need to like the bounding box is not. It doesn't reach as much. But just to give you a quick peek at how it looks and stuff, it's looking really good. Although this one is meant to be played in a, in a smaller aspect ratio. And at least the grenade function is there. And the mouse middle button. It looks great. Can't hit the uh, the full full length to the right. Well, I'll get to it sooner or later. I'll figure it out. For now, at least it's serviceable. Name is Justice. Got him good there. Almost there, almost there, come on. There you have it guys, House of the Dead 4. This one is not really that, that new, I mean we have it in different, uh, I say we have it in dis different systems on consoles and we have PC versions of it and stuff but you know, it's kind of nice to have it here as well. With the added benefit, of course, that I can, or you can tweak this to run in 4K, which probably with the recording is going to stutter a little bit, but it just looks so 
crisp and clear in game of course I mean not not the video that you're seeing here but in game you can tell just look at the video now and watch closely at how it looks in game let's go ahead and do a single race I don't intend to stay too long here look at the car let's do some maracas Road. Welcome folks to this super race battle coming at your lives. Super crisp and 4K. Beautiful. Okay, so after Sonic, let's jump into um, Fighting Climax. Loading. Loading complete. This one is another beautiful fighter in a long line of awesome anime fighters being done for the arcades. Climax. Love it, love it. Even though I have no idea where these characters came from, I really don't care because it's a fighting game, you know, and the characters look amazing, so yeah. Let's go with the guy with the sword because I love weapon based fighters, so let's go with this little dude. And as a companion, I have no idea. Let's go with that little chubby dude there. I think we can skip the story for now. Fighting games in these loaders do not disappoint. I mean, they keep getting increasingly better in terms of visuals and even some weird play uh, mechanics, but they tend to be really fun. Just I guess, you know, until you figure out the layout, if they go with the Street Fighter type of deal or if they follow their own kind of style. Mm. 
but a lot of these fighters are taking a lot of their inspiration in, in franchises like Guilty Gear and which has gotten way much better than the old days. Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue. I wish I knew how to do like the Mega Ultra special move or some something along those lines. It would be nice. Guess not. I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Alright, so next one up is a last minute entry because uh, it wasn't available when I decided to record this, and that is Star Wars Battle Pod, which just recently got released. So yeah, we're going to go with this one as our last one for today, guys. A nice little track screen. And I've already done the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the Yavin level, this level. So might as well start off from Hoth. Absolutely gorgeous. have the ability to disable or enable cockpit view. With the left shoulder button as of right now.
Alright guys, so this is a second take on the Star Wars Battle Pod, this time using full screen a bit more flatter, as you can see, uh, by um, editing a configure file. And yeah, so you, at least you have the option for now. I'm guessing that more than likely this will be patched into the loader as an option. I sure hope so, because playing it in the domed version has its charms as well, but it's nice that you have an option. So let's go real quick to a play here and a more flatter. Let's go with the Death Star tool. Hyperspace, yeah. Of course, with the shoulder and left shoulder button, you still have the option for adding that top to view. Looks really nice up close. I don't know. There, there's something about that dome version that just feels authentic, but a lot of people will probably like it a lot better this way. So there you have it guys, that should be all for now, uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one which will be very soon, take care guys.